Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and uh, this is going to be uh, a video in a little series of videos talking about different uh, laptops available on the web at affordable prices and uh, of course most of what we will show you in the different videos are laptops that have touch screen um, I think it's something that's really necessary in uh, Windows 8 uh, they're also all Windows 8 laptops, keep in mind, because this is the Windows 8 channel. So today, we are going to take a look at the Acer V5171-6471 uh, laptop. It's an Acer Ultrabook, if you want. And um, if we look at the data of this little laptop, um, first of all, it's a small laptop, so if you're looking for something light, something that will uh, be easy to bring along e everywhere, well, um, this is a good little Ultrabook. It supports an 11.6 inch uh, HD screen, so um, it's a small screen, it's really a small laptop, but if you're looking for something light and not too expensive to bring along, uh, what's cool about it, it does have multi-touch gestures on the uh, display. So basically when you want to do something in Windows 8, you'll simply touch the screen to click or to choose whatever icon, which is what you want in Windows 8. That's really important. Uh, it's sold here, as you can see, at 579 on the Acer um, website. But if you search the web, it will be uh, less expensive. I've seen it as low as $4.99. Uh, Newegg has it for $5.29. And um, if we look at the specs of this machine, well, it's a Windows 8 64 bits. It's a third generation Intel iCore i5. Um, it supports 1.8 gigahertz speed, but it has turbo boost, which means that when um, a application uses only one core, it can boost the speed to 2.7 gigahertz, which is uh, really cool. Six gigs of DDR memory, which is really enough for most applications. And uh, honestly, um, I don't even think you'll need more than six gigs for um, the coming, for a while, unless you're a really, really heavy type user. It has 500 gigabyte hard drive space. Um, it's a... Um, 11.6 inch LCD screen uh, that supports 1366 by 720, uh, 768 uh, resolution. Uh, what's interesting here, it's pretty good resolution uh, for the, the size of the screen because, um, give you an example, um, the most laptops that I've seen that have 15 inch screens uh, have 1366 by 768 pixels. So it means that this uh, Ultrabook actually has more pixels packed per inch than most laptops at 15 inches. So this display uh, is probably pretty crisp and pretty nice uh, visually. It has an Intel HD Graphics 4000. Well, um, that's the basic, um, the basic HD graphics that are um, included with the i5 core chips. Um, there are a few variants, but uh, this one is the Intel HD graphics, which is an okay performer. Um, most integrated chips are not really uh, the best, but uh, it's, it's okay, it's going to do the job. Um, as high definition audio, is a webcam, multi-touch gestures, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, HDMI out, which is very important. You should always buy a laptop that has HDMI out because you will want Sunday to plug in your favorite uh, big screen TV on it, um, especially because this laptop is 11.6 inches. Um, it does need a big screen if you want to work. It's cool if you you know just want to have a small little la lightweight laptop to um, bring along, but um, it's fun to have a big screen from time to time to work seriously with a laptop, especially at 11 inches. Um, USB 3, card reader, and uh, five hour battery life. Um, just a quick little note here. 
um, on most laptops. If you work a lot, if you look at videos and stuff like that, think of it, that five hour battery life will probably more uh, be closer to um, a three hour battery life uh, than a five hour. Five hours is really basically uh, looking at the web, your email and stuff like that, but not really watching movies or videos and stuff like that. That really, really uh, will gobble a lot of um, of battery power. So um, it's pretty cool. If we look at the data here, uh, so operating system is Windows 8. It's, uh, of course, processors and in Intel. It's a Core i5. Uh, processor has, uh, it's a dual core, two core with um, of course um, virtual cores available. Uh, 3 megabyte cache on the processor, 64 bit process, hyper threading. Um, memory is standard 6 gigabytes. Um, it accepts 8 gigabytes maximum so you cannot put more than 8 gigs. It's DDR3 SD RAM. And um, hard drive capacity is 500 gigs. It's a 500, a 5,400 turn uh, hard drive. So uh, it's the regular laptop drives that come with most laptops. Um, a little slower typically, but um, does the job. Uh, supports 11.6 inch screen. Um, it's a LED backlight on that 11.6 screen. So it's uh, really very white and very bright like most LED laptops. Has Wi-Fi of course and it's a Broadcom uh, chip that supports uh, A, B, G and N version. Has a gigabit Ethernet jack which is nice if you're on a network and you have to transfer files for example. Having gigabit is uh, pretty cool because it uh, lets you uh, transfer files uh, when plugged in with the Ethernet cable at a very high speed. Has of course Bluetooth, it's a Bluetooth 4.0 standard. Has a webcam, HDMI, three USB ports, uh, two are 2.0 and one is 3.0 which is typical of a lot of laptops. Um, operating system is Windows 8 64 bits, it has touch it has a touchpad, of course, uh, like all laptops. Four cell battery, 2500 milliamp hour. And uh, basically, um, if it says five hours maximum runtime, you can say that's probably uh, more like a three hour, three and a half in real time use. Um, and uh, so that's the Acer V5. 1716471 or as they call it the Aspire um, the Acer Aspire V5 machine but this is a specific version 579 uh, like I said it is as low as 499 on some websites so um, if for 500 bucks got a cool small little laptop it's lightweight and it has multi-touch screen gestures which is pretty cool um, if you're looking for a laptop um, for Windows 8, you really need multi-touch. So, um, hey, if maybe you bought this model, maybe you've seen it, maybe you've tried it. Uh, give us your own impressions. This is a place where I want to have interaction with everybody. Um, I want to have real comments. I don't want to have this laptop's no good. That's not constructive. Or this laptop's good that's not also constructive. I want to know, okay, why? What do you like about it? Or what don't you like about it? Uh, let's have a little exchange here and talk about this. If you have any comments or maybe questions um, about does this laptop do something specific that you'd like or would it be good for uh, something in particular, uh, ask away and we'll try to answer your questions. Um, keep in mind, a lot of people like to have laptops and want to play games. Well, with an Intel chip, keep in mind that most of the times these laptops are really not made for games. Uh, so you probably will need 
a better laptop and especially a better graphics chip for games. So I uh, hope you enjoy our channel and the Windows 8 uh, information that we give out. If you do, please click the subscribe button. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. And if you have a request of a feature or something you'd like to see, ask away. We'll try to do video online. And um, most of the time when you help yourself, you'll also be helping others. So thanks for watching. Hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.